Hello 3D printing peeps. Behind me is a pair of Creality Ender 3 version 2s. Now you may have just gotten a Creality printer and you're on Reddit and you're on Facebook and you're asking people what kind of upgrades do I need for my printer and why can't I level my bed? I level it one minute and then two minutes later it's not level again. Why is that and what can I do about it? One thing people are telling you over and over and over again is springs. They're telling you to replace your springs with yellow springs and you're like, okay, do I really have to do that? I'm here to tell you, yes. One of the main things you should be doing when you first get your printer is replacing the stock springs. They look like this. It's a silver spring. It's very squishy. It's rounded and it doesn't hold its position very well. You're going to replace that with a, a yellow spring. You'll notice that it's yellow. It's also quite firm and it's flatter. This spring will maintain the position you set your leveling knob at better and longer than this junk stock silver spring will. Let's have a closer look. Okay, so here's the spring that comes with your printer. It's shiny, it's silver, and it's rounded. And here is the new spring that you're going to be installing in your printer. It's yellow. It's flat on top and it's much stronger and harder to squeeze. It's a much firmer spring. When you install these, you will notice you get three long springs and one short spring. The short spring goes in the corner of your print bed where the wiring connects. So long, 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 short. Let's go have a look at this on the printer. So here's an Ender 3 version 2. It's doing its thing and you'll notice the yellow spring underneath the bed. The original color of that spring was silver like this, and it's since been replaced with yellow like this. The long springs go here, here, here. The short spring goes here. Underneath the back end of the bed is this adapter. There's the wheel and the bolt, and there's the adapter. The adapter connects to this wire that goes around the bed, to your motherboard. So right there, because of that adapter, you're gonna put the smaller spring on that section of the bed. Long spring, long spring, long spring, short spring. Long spring, long spring, long spring, long spring, short spring. Got it? Long spring, long spring, long spring, short spring. Long spring, short spring. You can't miss it. It's got this plastic bracket. That's where the short spring goes. Long, short. Here is my CR10 version 3 and underneath you'll notice the same <laughs> yellow springs underneath the leveling screws. Long spring, long spring, long spring, short spring. And there you have it, installing the springs is as simple as taking this crappy silver one out and replacing it with this yellow one. You just unscrew the wheel, slide on the spring, re-screw the wheel. Now keep in mind these are a lot stiffer than your stock spring, so you're going to have to adjust your bed differently than before. You may find you have to screw it down a lot tighter than before and then back it off from there. You're going to have to adjust your Z offset in order to help compensate for this. Those of you with a BL touch or a CR touch may have to take your Z-stop switch, loosen the nuts, and raise it a tad to give a little extra play. Those of you with a CR touch or a BL touch can simply adjust your Z offset in the software. Either way, once you get that initial leveling done and you get yourself acclimated to these stiffer springs, you'll find that your bed is holding its position a lot better and a lot longer than it was before with these crappy springs. The best part of these springs is they're only about $4 on Amazon. The link is in my description below. Please use it to help my channel. And if you get some and install them, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you there. In the meantime, you're watching Greg Adventure. I'm Greg and these cool yellow springs are today's adventure.